some years ago we said to you that when you want something and you believe it then it is so there is usually a gap between your first realization that you want something and that's usually especially in the beginning a sort of fleeting awareness there's usually a gap between that awareness that you want something and that belief that it can be because in most cases you think that if it could easily be or if it could be it already would be because by the time you are aware that you want it it feels to you like it may not be that easy to get in many cases oh little things that you want and already believe you already have one day we were visiting with a woman and we were wanting to get her to focus with us upon what she wanted and she couldn't light on anything so we started naming things that most people want and she said oh I already have that I already have that I already have that and then we all realized that what she meant by a desire or by wanting something was it needs to be something that I want that I don't have but you see the awareness that you want it and don't have it is what holds it in a holding pattern because every thought matters so when you think I would like to have that but I don't have it you don't allow any momentum to gather you don't allow your point of attraction to improve you don't prepare yourself to let it into your awareness you don't let yourself translate it into the see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it version and you're here for that it's so nice when you get in alignment with who you are and it is wonderful to understand what we are teaching about who you really are it's such a good thing when you become aware of the way you feel and you are able to direct your thoughts so that you feel better it's nice to be an extension of the spirit that you really are it's wonderful to feel good in this life experience and that's mostly what we talk to you about all day every day when you allow your ears to get into the vicinity of what we have to say but we never ever ever want to give you the impression that it is not a good idea because it is a good idea for you to get the things that you want things that you want experiences that you want relationships that you want you have come as brilliant really genius and such blessed creators with the express intention of sifting through this time space reality and coming to your own conclusions about what you desire in order for the universe source energy and all of the cooperative components to come together in order to allow you to experience the fullness of these things that you want sometimes especially in a group like you you want to have a conversation about spiritualism versus materialism and we say there is nothing more spiritual than the manifested version of spirit this that is all around you is what you came for you came because you are leading edge creators so you came into a leading edge environment because you want to create leading edge experiences and things in this leading edge environment and really nothing less than that will ever do for you because if life causes you to give birth to a desire this time space reality has the wherewithal to supply all of the ingredients to you and to it fully you are not meant to deprive yourself of anything that you have identified that you want so we began speaking to you about the creative process what this deliberate creative process really is whether it's deliberate or not this is the process step one says life is going to cause you to come to an awareness of what you want and that part's easy for you isn't it you know what you want sometimes hard for you to admit it because your beliefs tell you you can't have it and it doesn't feel good to talk about things you want when you don't believe you can have them but you know what you want and we want you to know that we know what you want <laughs> we know what you want and we know where you stand right here right now in relationship to everything you want so when that desire occurs to you oh it is such a good thing step one has happened life has caused you to give birth to a desire and it is well along the way by the time you are consciously aware of it step two is source becomes a vibrational match to that desire 
your inner being wraps itself all around the desire that you have given birth to and becomes a point of attraction and law of attraction begins responding to that point of attraction so your desire begins to formulate into much more than just the thought form that it is when you realize you want it all the way in to this full-blown manifestation where you and others can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it and all along the way in that progress from it being an idea to becoming the full-blown creation that you want all along that way you can be and are meant to be joyful as you are able to witness the cooperative components coming into place supporting your idea giving you hunches and nudges and impulses and inspiration so that you have right time right place things rendezvous happening all the time we want you to reach the place where you are not feeling discord between the desire and the full manifestation of it if you can decide today that you're going to enjoy every step along the way as this full-blown already in progress idea of desire that is backed up by source energy by all that is by your inner being and by every cooperative component in the universe if you can accept that this desire is already well underway and you can then sit in a relaxed understanding that it is going to come to full fruition unless you do that thing you do that prevents you from witnessing it happening that thing that you do is what step three is all about that thing that you do is you must think in favor of it happening not in discord you have to be a cooperative component with your own powerful important thoughts you can't think against your own desires and allow that gap to close you have to lean in the direction of it your work is to believe what you want talk yourself into believing what you want cease the split energy I want it but I would really like to have that but I've wanted it for such a long time and it's just not happening yeah right I would really like to have that but I don't know anyone that has that easily I want that but oh there's too much of a price that I would have to pay in order to get that you often shoot your desires in the foot with your awareness of what is and that's the part that we really want to get your attention about here and now because isn't this interesting so you're standing in a place living some life and life shows you or brings you to an awareness that you are without something that you want to have so knowing what you don't want or what you don't have helps you to know what you do want so this desire becomes more and more and more until it comes into your conscious awareness and so now you have a desire you have a desire and do you know what the only thing is that's keeping you from closing in on your desire from having fun watching things come into place and getting the fullness of it do you know the only thing that's keeping you from it you're looking at what is and what is is opposite of what you want and so the what is vibration has more of your airtime you're talking more thinking more about what is and so you're not allowing yourself to talk and think about what's becoming so you are pessimistic about what's becoming because you're talking about what is and isn't that interesting don't you just find that interesting when you look at it that way that the only thing that keeps you from moving to where you really want to be is talking about where you are incessantly <laughs> you're so interested in where you are let me explain to you where I am you say to anyone who will pause and listen <laughs> let me explain to you where I am and oh there's more I need to tell you how I got here and I'd like to tell you how long I've been here and I'd also like to tell you how much I don't like being here and hey wait I'm not the only one here there are a lot of others here with me none of us like being here we all want something different than what we have and we say we know you do but you can't get there that way you got to let go of what is in order to allow what is becoming to become what is so now these words what is really tricky business because there are a lot of different perspectives about what is and what we mean by that is we're talking about what is already vibrationally actualized we're talking about what you've been putting into your vibrational reality 
we're talking about the desires that you've been launching even those that you can't articulate we're talking about the coming together of those ideas and the formation of beautiful desires that you have the ability to become aware of now if you haven't been listening to us for a while that's just fine in fact you're probably better off <laughs> because it will be easier for you to hear what we're saying to you here today because we've been talking for years to many of you about how you can close that gap between what you believe and what you desire but today we would like you to recognize that that desire when you think of it do you know what a fresh desire feels like one that just hatches is a desire that just hatches how good it feels before you face reality and kill it <laughs> and so what we want you to do is figure out how to enjoy the fresh breath of air that that new desire is giving to you and resist the temptation to face reality just for a little while lean in the direction of optimism rather than leaning in the direction of pessimism let yourself think thoughts that feel better to you and so you were source energy before you came into this physical body do you know that some of you know that but many of you don't know that but many of you want to believe that you were but we want you to know that you were you were source energy before you came into this physical body but not only were you source energy before you came into this physical body the larger part of you still is source energy while you are here in this physical body and there is a constant vibrational relationship between what you sometimes call your source or soul we call it your inner being or your source or your soul doesn't matter what we call it there's a non-physical part of you that is vibrational in nature that is really the dominant part of you it's the part of you who has become the culmination of all of the desires that your life has carved out for you not just this life but all that you have lived you stand in this vibrational reality we started to call it the vortex we wanted to make it feel real to you you stand in this vibrational reality as the culmination of all that you have lived you have prosperity beyond our ability to describe clarity wisdom you are liquid love you are pure positive energy and life is meant to be good for you but then you were born into this physical body and here you stand in this body sometimes having pinched yourself off say it better sometimes right now pinching yourself off because everything is happening now sometimes you are pinching yourself off from the wholeness that is you and you know how you know that you're doing that you feel rotten while you're doing it that's what pessimism is that's what anger is that's what defensiveness is or frustration that's what all those emotions that you describe as negative emotions are about it's an indicator that there is a part of you that feels so good about whatever it is that you're focused upon but when you feel negative emotion it means you are focused in abject resistance or difference or opposition to the way the source within you feels and what the source within you knows about that so now we've talked to you about vibration and we know if we were sitting in your physical shoes we might not be so eager to hear about vibration because you really don't need to know so much about vibration vibration is something that you can't see it's something that you can sense you're translating vibration all the time that's why you can smell that's why you taste you're translating vibration it's why you see and hear it's what your fingertips are all about you are translating vibration and your solar plexus translate vibration into your emotions and your emotions let you know they are for one purpose and one purpose only they are to let you know whether in this moment in this moment when you are feeling this emotion whether you are allowing yourself to be an extension of who you really are so you are flowing with who you really are or whether you've pinched yourself off from that and you are temporarily sort of by your own choice usually not meaning to do it but by default by your own choice holding yourself out raw and ragged not connected in the way that you could be to this replenishing revitalizing always being offered to you source energy if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next